Adonai, Adonai, dear friends of the light. It is I, known as the Grand Master Melchizedek, who greets you this day, and as I hold your attention upon my words, I unfold you in my all-Christ heart flame of eternal power, cosmic purity, and cosmic peace that has within it the great raising activity of resurrection. I wish you all well. In your distant memories of former embodiments that you have lived upon your planet Earth, you may find my presence. The anniversary of my freedom in my ascension some two million years ago is celebrated on your calendar as November 11th every year. Having served in the throne room of the Father's presence of our universe, in the great central sun, I wish each of you to know that with my own legions of the angels, it is easy for me to project my universal consciousness in and around each of you to help raise you out of some of the limiting conditions that are occurring in the outer world of your planet. I would remind you too that in the time that I have served as the Father's presence, I am that Father presence that communed with Abraham of the Hebrew people. So I have been in your world before. I have communed with those who are spiritually attuned and awakened. And I return. Hear ye, beloved hearts of love. It is those on the earth who are awake, who are developing their spiritual side of life, those who hold sacred the power of their attention, those who look within and who look upwards. It is these ones who, if willing, may become instruments of my love, wisdom, presence, and power acting in their lives. And then through these awakened ones on your earth can I and my twin flame, the beloved Queen of Light, and other cosmic beings of light who can then through each of you pour our light and our love to the greater people of earth who require it so much at this time and so through each of you too we can pour our light and love and cosmic powers to the powers of nature and the forces of the elements that are so out of balance at this time due to advancing radical climate change and some discordant conditions that have been created 
by certain sinister agencies in some of the nations of the world who think that they have the right to interfere with that which ought to be only the natural activities of weather patterns and what is taking place in the Earth's atmosphere. In my own evolution and having served in the throne room of the great central sun, such is the authority and the power that is granted my life stream to step in and serve. We, like many of your own Earth's ascended and angelic host, we are here to help all life upon your planet. We are called to help wherever we can. And we are as real as you are. And I say those words for those who might doubt our existence. And I also say that perhaps we are more real than you are as we in our evolution have become immortal beings within our body substance having achieved life's purpose that which is termed the ascension now currently I serve as the governor of Shambhala. Shambhala, a wondrous realm of light that is part of your solar system. This realm currently serves those of your race who have completed the wheel of reincarnation. However, these ones were not able to take their freedom in the ascension at the end of their current embodiment. As you all know, every day, life streams are being born into your world and every day, there are many who lose their physical garments in what is termed the change called death. Now, let me be clear. Most of those who pass from your world most return to the planes of bliss, rest, and then must prepare for their reincarnation back into your world. However, there are some who leave your world in the change called death, who have completed the wheel of reincarnation. And those ones they are a very small group. They come to us in Shambhala, where we create new physical bodies for them, where they will live for a number of years, and then begin to spiritually study developing their spiritual side of life until they 
can take that ascension from Shambhala and go up and live in the Ascended Master's fifth dimension. You might also like to know that those of the animal kingdom, those precious animals that have been loved by humans, cared for by humans, such as pets and more. At the end of their life on earth, those precious animals, they too come to Shambhala, where there they may continue their precious evolution. And now, while I serve in Shambhala, along with the Queen of Light, like so many of our kind, we are called by that cosmic being who oversees your solar system of worlds, known as the Director Logos. We are called by him to help the people of Earth, all life on Earth, the planet herself. There are many dangers in your world, and we must help you with those dangers, help your people to overcome them. There are many. And for this reason, the Director Logos is calling forth divine intervention, even from places beyond your solar system. He is calling in great cosmic beings from the galaxy itself. To come and assist the earth. As you have already heard, your planet, your people are in the opening years of a seventh golden age, one that is intended to be permanent. And in the opening of every golden age, all that is not the light, all that is devious, all that is of injustice, all these kind of shadows must surface. So the very heart of the people will come together. And finally, Nations and new peoples rising in leadership roles will come together, talk to each other, and find solutions to the many problems upon your planet. Now, we could just drench all of you, all the people of Earth and the planet herself with our cosmic light and power that could just lift humanity and the Earth and all life out of the dredges of human discord. We could do that. However, the grand cosmic laws that govern our universe just does not allow that. Only those who are spiritually awakening, peoples who are sincerely turning within 
and upwards can be those channels, those instruments that we and your ascended host. And when I say we, I am referring to grand cosmic beings. So those are the only ones that we can work through. If you ask us, if you invite us, have you not been reminded too many times that you are free will, race? And if you are going to have intervention, and rightfully you ought to have it, then you must use your free will and invite those who can help. Come on to your world and make a difference. Today there are a few million of you on the earth who are in this category of peoples on earth the awakened ones. And their awakening will continue. Their harvesting of spiritual powers will grow. And for this too, do we come to overlight those who know of us to ask of us. Today, I, Melchizedek, invite you to know and align with my cosmic mantra of life. It is not changed. It, is my, my, it has been my mantra for millions of years. My life is this mantra. My life outpictures this mantra. It is the truth of who and what I am. And hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. It is the truth of who and what you are. Therefore, I invite you, I dare you to take on my cosmic mantra of life and make it your own. Some of you have heard it. I am the light of God that never fails. I am the love of God that always fulfills. I am the truth of God that always prevails. I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. Meditate upon those words, beloved friends of the light. Own those words, for in truth, the light, love, and truth of God abides deep within your beingness. Even if it has been covered over, Use your free will and uncover your light, your love, and your truth that are the divine assets of God 
goddess, all that is, enshrined within your being. For what has covered over these mighty God assets of your being is nothing more than human energy of human beliefs and human opinions that has nothing to do with the truth itself. I say unto you, I am Melchizedek. And if you, you so choose not just to know these words, not just to love my mantra or make it your own, if you so choose in hearing that that light, that love, and that truth of God abides deep within your being. It's there. It's just that it has been covered over for so long. Yet if you are interested, if you have faith in my words, then I and my beloved twin flame, the Queen of Light, and our uncountable legions of the angelic host. If you become determined that these divine assets of light, love, and truth of God that abide deep within your being, if you become determined, sheer determination, with Magdalene force, that beyond the words, light, love, truth, to recognize these are mighty assets of God's source, Qualities of God's source. Activities of God's source. They exist at the center of your being. Covered over for too long. But I am here to help. And if you call upon myself and my beloved, the Queen of Light, and our angels, to come to you and remove this human energy field that has covered over these great God assets. I say unto you, it is time that God in you be liberated. For your kind has imprisoned God's source far too long. And now your people and your planet suffer. Wait not the hour that this is not a choice. Rather, while you have time, own that the light and the love and the truth of God abide within you and with all your heart and mind and soul be determined that that human energy field that has covered over these God assets and has kept those God assets from acting and expressing in you. Now that human energy field of duality be removed. Well, I can do it with a snap of my fingers. It is the authority and power of God Almighty
that I have ascended to. Yet you must be sincere. You must love the light. You must love love itself. And you must love the truth. You call upon us. Let's remove this human shield that is covered over your God assets. Together, let us liberate God Almighty in you so that you and your people may come to glorify God, the Father, God, the Mother, and then glorify the God presence within yourself. Meditate upon those words. Own those words, for in truth, the light and love and truth of God abides deep within you. Call upon me. Call upon the Queen of Light. As you take up my mantra several times a day, think it, speak it, own it, and I will send my angels to come and hold you, enfold you, nurture you in my all Christ heart flame of eternal power, cosmic purity, and cosmic peace that has within it the great divine energy, the great lifting and raising activity of resurrection. I, Melchizedek, say unto you, let God in you rise. Rise out of the tomb of human miscreation. Rise and find your freedom in your own divinity. We can lift you and raise you enough so that the challenges that we see coming to your world will not touch you. Lord Melchizedek, beloved Queen of Light, make of me an instrument of your cosmic light to the world. Lord Melchizedek, beloved Queen of Light, make of me an instrument of your cosmic love to the world. Lord Melchizedek, beloved Queen of Light, make of me an instrument of your cosmic truth to the world. Work with us, beloved hearts, and together let us initiate the wonderful powers and presence of God that has been too long hidden within you. Let us liberate those so that together we can counteract some of the challenges that are in your world and coming in your world. Look to this light, love and truth within you to provide you with everything that you require History 
reveals that the only thing that has been certain is that his, humanity has a history of rising and falling. And we are doing what we can to prevent this pattern from occurring again. With the potential of great challenges, there must be enough of you whose light, whose love, whose truth will be a light upon the nations of the world who will be forced by what is coming. Nations, governments, forced, being compelled to come together and round table with each other to determine plans of action for solutions. World financial crisis. World shortages of food. World shortages of packaging materials to deliver food. Increasing deviant interference by some of the science agencies in your world. Impacting weather conditions. Devious individuals and agencies who seek to whip up such anger in the Earth's atmosphere. And then what do you get? You get a hurricane that in one moment is a Category 1 and within a day or two meteorologists are shocked that is that hurricane makes landfall. It is advanced to Hurricane 4. Is this nature? Is that natural? Nay, it is not. It is human interference. And I only close with some of the things that we see as potential dangers and challenges the people will face. That I, amongst your ascended host, may come and convince you to offer yourselves to be channels, to be instruments of our ascended consciousness, our cosmic light, so that we can work through you So that through you, we can help advance the people and find those amongst the people who are right-minded and right-hearted and right-willed. The nations of the world are going to need them. People coming together for Ascended Master Solutions. I, Melchizedek, invite you to offer yourself to me. I am no foreigner to your world. I am in your distant memories.
Be willing to make of yourself an instrument, a channel of my light, my love, my all Christ heart flame. And together, let us prove what I can do for you and through you, what we can do to make the cosmic difference that your world so requires at this time. We are here to assist. You are our dear friends of the light. Adonai. Beloved hearts. Adonai. Adonai. Adonai.